Hello, I'm Jeff Gold, and welcome to this segment of Under the Microscope. Thanks so much for being with us today. I have the great pleasure and honor of being joined by a good friend, uh, Mr. David Padgett. And David is one of our senior programmers and analysts in the Department of Information Technology. And David, thanks so much for being with us today. The subject I wanted to talk about, and I think our audience is interested in, is the new Unival application. And I know that you and our uh, human resources people have worked very hard on getting this ready to roll out this spring. So maybe you could tell me and tell our audience a little bit about what the purpose of the Unival application is, and then we'll talk a little bit about how people will use it. Well, thank you, Dr. Gold. And uh, yes, um, basically the, the idea behind Unival was to take an electronic evaluation system, make that available to the campus, and more importantly, more broadly to the university. And so that is why it was re-architected into Unival, uh, is because we needed to have it in a format that would be available to the various other campuses as well. Um, that was just one of the things that we tried to do um, as we look to try to do more with less and faster, smarter as we go forward. Um, one of the ideas with electronic evaluations, we've worked very closely with human resources um, to really try to, to create something that would make it easier for the administrators, put the information in one place um, that would still meet the full goal of evaluations from a peer perspective, um, but most importantly, make access transparent to not only the employees, but to the administrators as well. So um, instead of trying to go find an evaluation in a cabinet somewhere mm -hmm. or requesting an evaluation, um, supervisors or um, employees can directly go into the tool and access their evaluation at any time. Well, unquestionably, performance evaluation is a very important part of the culture here at the Med Center. It helps the entire family here at the Med Center continue to improve, provides positive feedback and areas for work for all of our employees, myself included. And so the Unival tool will, will help us. But how would our uh, future users, the department administrators, the, the staff, the family of, of the Med Center learn more about what Unival is and, and how it will affect them and how they'll use it? Yes, um, well we've worked very closely with Human Resources. Uh, Human Resources is actually the owner of the application. Mm -hmm. And so um, they've provided quite a, quite a few materials that are available on the Human, source, human Resources website. Um, along with that, most employees have access to the tool. Um, we do have some um, outliers with regards to things like uh, faculty that do some evaluations in a different system. Mm -hmm. um, but most of the university has access, or most of the campus has access mm -hmm. to it, and some other university resources. So when they authenticate in, um, there's a frequently asked questions right on the tool as well. Well, and that um, takes them through, the users through, not only how to do their evaluations from an evaluator's perspective or an employee perspective, um, but just some of the basics that are with it so that they can get an understanding of how the tool operates. Uh, we've tried to streamline it and make it very, uh, very simple um, to use, but um, that's probably the best way is either through the Human Resources website or uh, once they authenticate into the tool. Um, which is just your normal login parameters for UNMC mm -hmm. um, to go to the frequently asked questions. Great. Well, thank you very much for being with us today. And thank you for being with us today on this segment of Under the Microscope. <laughs>